You can't keep going. <laughs> Friendly, this is not your channel. The car, yeah, we don't love the car, do we? He is just the sweetest, he is my shadow. Hi friends, this is Christine, and as you can see, this is Taco. <laughs> Taco wants his treats. Come here, say hi. Let everybody see you, look, what's it, no. Bag of treats that he's more interested in than the camera right now. What you doing? He's such a good boy. Come here. He's such a good boy. Anyway, this is Taco. He is my new service dog. He just turned two years old. We have had him for only seven months. He is a rescue. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. The people that surrendered him did zero and i mean zero training with him they basically got him as a puppy put him outside in the yard in a dog house and left him there for a year and a half till they moved away and left him there and the people's grandmother actually were the ones that called coco's cupboard the rescue and said my grandson moved away and left his dog and I heard stories of them going to the house and getting him and his big dog house and whatnot, which we don't have a dog house. Um, Coco's kept, kept that. You can have one because you're being a very good boy. Anyway, he did not know how to even sit when we first got him. He would counter surf all over the kitchen counters. He would jump on everybody. He barked like a psychopath. And we've already had, have we had one or two? I think just one, right? One service dog weekend. I started um, service training with him the day that we got him. We got him at Thursday at a five o'clock. At a five o'clock? At five o'clock. And class started at six, so I ran home, got Stella's training collar and leash, and took him right away. So he is officially service dog training. We've already passed level number one, and he is in level two right now, which every service dog trainer has their different levels. Level one, he passed his Good Citizen Award. Did you? He's a good boy. Yes. No, no. Eyes, thank you. He passed his Good Citizen, <laughs> see the drool? He passed his Good Citizen Award that he can go into parks and stuff like that. And we have also passed level one, which he can sit and he can stay in a downstay. He heals really well. He can have other dogs walking around him and other people walking around him as he's in a downstay. He can walk within a crowd of other dogs and handlers. He's doing very, very good. Um, this week we just started learning him picking things up off the floor and I just started training him how to, since he knew how to do that, get meds off the counter. So I use the exact same bottle in the same spot all the time. And I just say, get meds. And he puts his front two paws on the counter, he grabs the meds, brings them to me, and he gets a treat. So I'm trying to teach him how to get meds. Not that I need them right now, I really don't. I do have some emergency ones for my PTSD, but you never know. It's worth learning, right? We've also done an airport training, which was so fun. We went with a group of 10 other handlers and their dogs, right? And you walk through the airport, you went to a TSA checkpoint where you had to take off your vest and everything and you went through scanner by yourself. We actually boarded a plane. Delta was so incredibly kind. Thank you, thank you Delta for being so wonderful to Tales of Hope service dogs. They allowed us all to board the plane and he learned how to tuck under the seat in front of me. Uh -uh. No, we don't just take, that's not nice. Sit. Yes, good boy. And he did perfect. Even on the monorail, everything he did stellar. I was so incredibly proud of him. He does really, really well with learning. I mean, we're taking our time <laughs> with, with some of the Doberman, you know, attitude and the temper tantrums and whatnot, but that's okay. We'll get there. We're, I mean, he has come leaps and bounds since I've gotten him. He's absolutely a phenomenal dog. He's so, <laughs> Hey, over here. He has somewhat abilities to snuggle, somewhat abilities not to snuggle. He's not really in the true sense of like, you can't spoon him. But when he wants to lay down and go to sleep, he will lay down and snuggle you his way, which is usually on his back. You gotta stay over here, buddy. You can't keep going. <laughs> Friendly, this is not your channel.
He is doing so good. I'm so proud of both of us. Um, I can never thank the trainers that I have enough. Melanie, Barbara, Miss Suzanne, whose company it is, and a bunch of other ones that I just, there's no way I could do the whole list right now. But the fact that I call people and text people on a regular basis. I'm like, okay, what do I do now with Taco? Or here's a little clip of what he did. You know, how do I tweak it? What do I do? You know, we have an, a private Facebook group just for us that are in the, the training. And it is so, so helpful and so incredibly supportive that even if you think you may have made a mistake, you may have come milestones. You never know. <laughs> Do we just take? Don't you look at me silly like that, goofy boy. Anyway, I can't say enough about this dog, how much he's done for me. He is just the sweetest. He is my shadow. He is incredibly funny. He throws temper tantrums every once in a while. He's stuck to me like glue. He's perfect in the crate from the first night. He loves Jameson more than, El Jameson is his best friend. They play every single day, night and day. Zoe and him get along. I think it's the male female thing. They are doing so good, aren't you? The car, yeah, we don't love the car, do we? No, we howl, <laughs> except when we're going to daycare. Then we get all excited until we cry when we're leaving daycare, right? But he loves the bus when he goes to the farm on Mondays. He absolutely loves the bus. <laughs> There's a bird tweeting right over there. And he's all like, he saves me from countless squirrels that are outside. I can't thank him enough for, you know, the security watch. He's such a goober, but he's so incredibly, he's so good. He's so good. Can you sit? Come on, sit. Oh, now you won't do it unless you get a treat. I see how it is. Come here, sit. Come here. Uh -uh. Yes. Oh, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> Maybe I'll show you a couple treats in a second. As soon as we, <laughs> we clean up the drool. <laughs> Look at that face. Let me see if I can get a better view out of his face. <laughs> Ew, gross. You slobbered on me, Goofy. All right, you wanna do some tricks? You wanna do some tricks? No, now you wanna lay down? <laughs> 100 pound lap dog. Let's go do some tricks downstairs. What do you think? Sound good? Let's go do some tricks. <gasps> I love you.